Lately, people have been asking me what I have done to the TC. So today I'm gonna go over that bumper to bumper. Um, some of you guys want to run E85 and tune their cars on NA or whatever. So I'm gonna help you guys out and answer all your questions. And also, if you want to stick around towards the end of the video, I'll update you guys on the 350. Um, if you guys are still interested in, in, in that project, just let me know. Uh, but like I said, towards the end of the video, I'll update you guys on the 350 and where I'm at and what I'm gonna do to it and the upcoming future. So at the start, I first off, I had the TRD exhaust with the resonators completely stock. I ended up deleting the resonator and gave it a more aggressive and louder tone to it. Then afterwards, I added this Megan headers, which are really good quality. Um, as you can see, they have not rusted. This is all just dirt and buildup that's been sitting on there for quite a while. I actually need to clean the engine bay uh, later in the future. Uh, anyways, then comes the, keep forgetting the name to this air intake, but for that reference, I wouldn't recommend this air intake. It's kind of cheap. Uh, I would recommend the K&N or AEM and engine technology. But in that case, this is a long ram in air intake. And the reason why I went for that was cause a little bit more horsepower, pretty, pretty sure it adds probably like two or three more horsepower, but the longer the air intake, uh, the more horsepower you push out of it. So after installing all that, I tuned it for 93 on the OV tuning. I uh, didn't really like it. So and then after that, I tuned it again on a dyno and you guys can check that out. I actually did a vlog on that. With that being done, after the tune, after those two tunes, I was pushing about 160-ish around there on 93. So full ball tones without E85. Um, no aftermarket exhaust with just the TRD exhaust, headers, and air intake. Which after that, I decided I wanted a more louder exhaust, which didn't work out pretty good because I went back to the TRD exhaust. Um, so I decided to install a Borla exhaust, which I still have. If any of you guys are interested in buying this exhaust, all you really have to do is weld it back on if anybody's interested in buying this, uh, I'll be selling it for like maybe 150 bucks. If y'all guys have a better offer, let me know or DM me. I'll be selling that. And then also, and also I'll be selling this exhaust tip. It's a burnt tip. Uh, I'll probably sell this for maybe 50 bucks if you guys are interested. So let me know if you guys are interested in any of that. Uh, I'll be willing to ship it out also. Now, Back to the car. So after the Borla exhaust, I installed the rear sway bar and then this front strut bar, which actually they work pretty good. I do have the front sway bar sitting here, but after realizing how hard it is to install a front sway bar, uh, I've been kind of lazy. I may have somebody install it for me and I pay the extra couple bucks to have that installed i guess so after all that i installed i installed e85 injectors i think they're 550 cc i don't know how many pounds that is uh if you guys can comment down below and let me know how many pounds that'd be pushing uh but i know it's 550 cc a new fuel pump was installed obviously needed that and also we also got so my tuner had left the, the plugins to my spark plugs and just in case I needed to go back to 93, um, which it may not happen in the near future, but if I were to sell this car, if, if I were to sell this car and the next owner would want to go back to 93, uh, I would like to have that just in case and take it back to the tuner. All you have to do is switch Eclipse, uh, reinstall the old, fuel, uh, the old injectors and the old fuel pump and it'll be back to 93. 
I'm not gonna redline it in this neighborhood. Uh, it's a bit loud, but it's not crazy loud. It has a good tone to it, a really deep, low tone. And that's one, one of the things I like about the TRD exhaust and why I kept it. Uh, the, Bora, the Borla exhaust was a bit too quiet for me. So that's why I switched it back. So for that reason, uh, that's why I kept the TRD exhaust. And keep in mind, so when I switched to E85, uh, the E85 really toned down the exhaust for some reason, I don't know why. Um, but when I was at 93, it was a bit more louder than what it is right now. But other than that, I don't think I've missed anything from this car. Uh, I've basically covered everything and I don't know what I want to do to it later in the future. But with that being said, uh, updates on the 350. Uh, so there are a couple things that I need to be fixed on the 350Z. Uh, actually, there's a lot to be fixed. Uh, I need to give you guys a clear update of what I had found out about the Z. So what needs to be repaired ASAP are the control arms and bushings which I'm gonna go to O'Reilly's and buy me the front two, the front control arms and with the bushings. Uh, and the reason why I wanna go to O'Reilly's is because they offer, um, I believe, a, a lifetime warranty. If things go bad, you know, you turn in, they get, they get you a new one. Uh, so I'll be getting those. I know I need a radiator mount and a core support mount. Uh, those, those are cracked. I don't want it and held on. Those are also held on by zip ties, which I don't want it to look bunk. So with that being said, I need those, at least those three things I know need to be replaced. Um, and if any of you guys know any hookups on, on parts for the Z, just let me know. And what I mean by parts for the 350 is I really wanna go OEM. So my plans for the Z is I want to go full JDM. I don't want to spoil anything, but that's kind of my plan later in the future. As far as fixing it up, I do need new headlights. I do need fenders, front fenders. Uh, I already have the front bumper. And then I just need the radiator mount and the core support mount. But with that being said, if anybody knows where I could get OEM parts for the 350, please let me know, comment down below or DM me. Um, I'm really trying to fix up this car as soon as possible because I really want to get this on the road. It's kind of sketch driving on the road with control arms and radiator mount zip tied together. It's like, it, it's really sketch, but I'd like to have it fixed as soon as possible. So if any of you guys could let me know uh, what's the best website or place, company, whatever to go, uh, please let me know. Anyways, but with that being said, I'm gonna end it off here. Hope you guys enjoy the video and a little bit of an update of where I'm at right now. I know it's been quite a minute, not, not really a minute, I think it's been two weeks since our, our Dino Tune. Uh, but with that being said, uh, hopefully I'll be getting out more videos. And if you guys wanna see the repairs done to the 350Z, let me know and I'll vlog it a day or I'll show you how it's done, whatever. Uh, but just let me know if you guys wanna see that. In that case, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.